Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and this is a little um, um, talk about loops and um, especially address some questions that a few of you have uh, asked me about the K180 versus MLE30 loop. So um, one of them uh, that um, a few of you have asked is why is the K180 overloading and the MLE30 doesn't have such a problem and it has to do probably in several different things first of all it could be the design of the amplifier uh, it could be possible that the amplifier is set wrong uh, maybe the gain is pushed way too high making it overly sensitive so it just can't cope uh, one of the things I wanted to see is uh, maybe if I can open it and try to adjust the gain if there's a possibility to access the gain on the loop uh, that's one thing I want to look at to see if by uh, any chance there could be a possibility to fix that. Uh, the other thing is the fact that this is a wider frequency range amplifier. So the MLE30 is for 500 kilohertz to 30 megahertz. It is mostly for medium wave shortwave. So it is not very sensitive when you get to FM broadcast band, which means the FM signals that are very strong are not as strong on the MLA30 because it's not made to receive those frequencies. So it it is one possibility why it, the MLA30 is immune to this. You know, when I installed it and I saw the overloading of FM signals, it made me rethink about the W6 LVP loop. When I purchased that big expensive loop, the um, the maker of that loop, uh, Larry, had sent me an email saying, you know, you have very powerful stations where you live. I think you need to have filters installed so that the antenna doesn't overload. So I guess it's possible that he was right. I don't know. But then again, the fw 6 lvp loop also is a loop that's meant for shortwave. So maybe it would have been immune to this. I don't know. But one thing for sure is that um, it, you know, it could be many little things that make this one not work well. But it's obviously terribly overloaded by the FM stations around here. So um, that's going to be the next step because some of you said, well, maybe you can look if you can play with the gain. Um, you know, I know the MLA30, I think, has an easy access to the gain settings. Maybe I could have an access to the gain settings. I mean, uh, it's easy to open the box and check inside. So I will be looking inside the uh, K180 and uh, examining what could be done, if anything can be done, to uh, make this work better. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.